Yes, yes, welcome to another video. I'm Lewis. Above me, Jordan. This is Derby Day Preview, guys. We've already done our main issue. Who should play up front? Uh, go check that out. We'll link that uh, as a card so you can go and have a look if you've not already seen that. Won't really touch on that too much in this video. Um, before we get into it, guys, let's set a like target. Let's go for a thousand. So smash the thumbs up on the video if you do enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you want to help support the channel, get your name on the screen, get extra perks, become an extra club member. Link in the description. Guys, I want to tell you as well, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Yes, yes, the Premier League is in full swing. And that means it's time to throw on your club shirt and make sure you don't take a nasty tackle below the waist <laughs> them red cards boy uh, our partners at Manscaped here so you stay clean and take care of yourself where it matters most uh, Manscaped trusted by over 2 million men worldwide 2 million that's, that's a big a number that and me and LB are a part of that 2 million uh, it's, it's true it's true it's an exclusive um, guys join the movement get 20% off uh, and free shipping with the code extra at manscaped.com that's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com use code extra so they know we sent you. Uh, pick the right squad when shaving your bits. And trust Manscaped to get the job done. Ooh. All right? Don't trust no one else. Nah, nah. The don't dodgy razors. No the Them dodgy razors, razors isn't it? You'd be yeah. cuts. You don't want the cuts. Oh, God forbid, scissors. You know what I mean? Oh, mate, don't scissors. Be doing that. Right, let's get into it. Right? Defence. Big, big decision. Well, is it a big decision? Because they don't attack, do they? They're a bit boring, United. You know what I mean? I'm sure there'll be some United fans on here. So this is pure bait for you guys, right? <laughs> but they're a little bit boring. But in terms of the defence, the way I see it is John Stones and Ruben Diaz is pretty much a certainty for me. You know what I mean? I know Laporte's been playing well. He has been playing well. Yeah, however, been playing well. I just think that, that John Stones and Diaz are going to start. It's just a case, really, of what he does at left-back. Because... Does he play Zinchenko there or does he play Cancelo there? You know what I mean? It's it, you know Because obviously if he plays Cancelo there, then the right back will just be Walker. So who does he pick at left back row? Do he go Zinchenko, which we've done pretty much all season and we've been pretty strong with Cancelo at right back? Or do you, you could also play, obviously you could rest Cancelo if you really wanted to. How are you looking at this situation, bro? Uh, left back wise I think like you say they don't really attack anyway they, but they will try and hit you on the counter and that's their thing and they have got fast players like Rashford and that. Uh, Dan James, if he plays, he's fast. Um, but so, so the, there is a case there for Cancelo playing left back and then maybe Walker playing right back. Uh, there's a part of my brain that thinks Pep will go with that in the sense that he will be a bit overly cautious of that counter um, mm. and go with that. But yeah, you were saying that to me before. That you, you you actually think that Pep's I, I, gonna play yeah. Cancelo and and Walker? Yeah, my, my actual thought is that he will go with Cancelo and Walker. However, what I want to happen is I want Zinchenko to play. It's tried and trusted, and Zinchenko has been quality this season. He's kept a lot of quality players quiet Do you mm. know what I mean he's pocketed a lot of people he's done he really really well yeah. Liverpool, and I was just like he's done well against fast players so and he's just very good at the ball and I think you lose yes Cancelo can still go forward a bit on that left hand side but you do lose a little bit you lose a little bit I agree from Cancelo he's not quite as good in the, on the left hand side yeah. as, as the right hand side that's just my opinion but it's an interesting one this one I think I'm with you I, I, I want to I want to see Zinchenko and, and Cancelo very harsh on Walker I know but that's 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 the nature of the beast, nature guys, beast. when you've got a six squad. Um, but guys, let us know in the comment section below, you know, what would you do in this situation? Would you would you do the Cancelo with Zinchenko? Would you play Cancelo left back, Walker right back? You know, what, what are you doing at centre back? Are you sticking with the John Stones, Diaz? From, it's, it's a lot of decisions Pep's got to make and people are not going to be happy. Um, you know, players are not going to be happy, obviously, because you've got good players who are in good form who are not going to play this game, which is, which is obviously disappointing for them. Uh, let's move on to another area of the football pitch, which is tricky, and it's the wingers. Um... They're all in good form, you know. No one's really in bad form. I say Torres is still trying to find his way into the team, but Sterling's come back and he's in really, really good form, yeah. creating chances. Um, Foden obviously is just, he's just, uh, he's just tearing it up at the moment. Mares recently, he's, he's been, he's been smashing it. You know, his last game for us, for me, one of the best games I've seen him playing the City shirt. You got Bernardo Silva who can also play on the wing. A lot of decisions, and again, good players in good form are going to miss out. That's the issue. It's just a massive, massive decision from Pep. And like you say, it's not fair because there are players that are playing <laughs> sick. And <laughs> But fair. it is what it is, isn't it? Like, yeah. No matter where you look at it, there's, there's going to be so many different variants that people will go with. Uh, there'll be a lot of people who don't agree with our final team and who we picked on the wing. But one certainty for me 
is Riyad Mahrez just off the base of the last game. And he, Riyad Mahrez does have a tendency to play his big games. Um, and I like it. He's been playing sick, like I said. One yeah, of his best games he, he, he played in a City shirt the other day. So, I mean, it'd be prime pep for him to drop him. The thing is, right, are we, are we making a mistake here? Right, because when do we say, and I've not spoken about this, bro, so you're going to be shocked, right? When do we say Mahrez plays best for City? In that, what type of games? What type of circumstance? When he goes one on one, right? And 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 how many times? What type of teams would he go one on one against? Teams that play football. <laughs> teams that play open, expansive football against. And what do United when not Mahrez play? Excels, but United they're going to sit back. They don't play expansive football. They don't play open football. They're going to sit back and hit us on the counter and double up. So maybe actually this is probably one of the worst games for Mahrez. I don't know. I still think he should be in the team because he smashed it in his last he match. Still, he still he booked his place. But don't you know there is a potential that it'll just be isolated out of the game because they'll just double up on or triple up on him because that's what United do. They don't play football. You know what I mean? They they just sit back and just defend and then try and hit you on the counter attack. So that's a tricky one actually. I've literally just thought of that right now exclusive um, <laughs> but yeah the, you know the winger situation is difficult you know you got Foden you know Sterling on the left you know I, I don't really think Torres is, is done enough for me so far to to no, get in to the start, first team to start. but um, decisions decisions and that brings us on to the basically the, the, the topic of the whole conversation right now is we're in a good place we're in a good place Blues and it's because there's so many players playing well in good form We've got competition for places, and that's what you really, really want. And the, the, the downside is that you've got to let players down. And, and obviously fans will be disappointed that their favourite player isn't playing yeah. or whatever. But though the benefit of the football club, if you're if you're a Manchester City fan, this is great news. If you're a, a player of a fan, if you're a fan of a player, this ain't good news because they could miss out even though they're playing well. I'm a Man City fan. You know, a lot of you will be Man City fans. So this is good for us, you know what I mean? Yes, it's disappointing to see players like Bernardo Silva on the bench. Kevin De Bruyne might not even start, you know what I mean? Good players are going to miss out and that is a shame. However, you got to have a big squad to win quads, you know? It's it's a fact. Big squad wins quad. <laughs> look, at you, look at Liverpool. The alternative is, oh, let's not upset anyone and let's just have a start in 11 that's mint. Forever, and you out. know what? You might smash it for two years or three years. They did actually do well in the other year and, you know, they, they can do well. But then as soon as a few players start getting injured, look at them now, mate. They're going to be ninth soon. And that's no joke. They could be ninth if the team's below them when the game's in hand. You know, that's the alternative. You have a, you have a smaller squad, a smaller first team uh, like selection. You keep them all happy. They're all buzzing. But then, you know what I mean? If you get injuries, you're in the mud, as as you can witness at Merseyside right now. So... Yeah, it's an interesting one. I'm, I'm buzzing that we do have competition. It's good for the squad. It's good for the club. It's good it, for the it's, players. It's a credit in itself to the squad that we have this competition because everyone's game is being raised. Everyone's raising the game to get into that first team. And this is why we keep saying we don't have a first team. We have a squad. That's it. We don't have a first team. We don't have a first team. If you look at our B team, it, it could win the league this year, our mm -hmm. B team. Right, let's go through our our team selection. This is what we would start with. So we've got Edison Cancelo, um, Diaz, Stones and Zinchenko in that left-back position. Do you agree with that? Let us know in the comment section below. Uh, Midfield-wise, we've got uh, Rodri, Kevin De Bruyne and Ilkay Gundogan, which another thing, people in the phoning show uh, were saying that they dropped Kevin. Um, I just... I said to Lewis before we were picking our team that he just gives you them moments. I also and need to play him into form, bro, before yeah. we start playing Everton and the big games, the big cup games. I can't, I can't be going into them games without a top class Kevin De Bruyne. I need him in form, yeah. and the only way you're going to get him into form is playing him into form. So I got to play him. I'm sorry. I know Bernardo Silva is he's, he's completely justified to be in the team. Mm -hmm. However, as we've just discussed for the last ten minutes, players are going to get upset. But Ke Kevin De Bruyne could win us. The Champions League on his own. We're in the mud in the last 10 minutes. He could just pop up and do something. And we need him to get back into form, like proper form, pretty soon, ideally. Um, so I'm playing him to form. Um, up top, we've got Mares on the right-hand side. We've got Foden on the left-hand side and Gabby Jesus up top. Um, we have had a massive debate on the sort of strikers' pros and cons on the folding show, which we just done, and on our main issue video, which we, uh, which we linked at the beginning of the video. So go check that out. Realistically, though, I think I've said this on a lot of videos... In the past sort of month, I don't really care what players play. You know, I mean, that's my team. That's how I'd start. You know what I mean? If I have Pep Guardiola, that's how you start as well if you're Pep Guardiola. But 
You could change that four eleven, mate. And I'm not harsh. You know what I mean, I'm still backing these players to to get us a result that, against that's United. That's how good we are right now. We're, that, we're with in that squad good, that you just you put a mix of them together and it works. We're just sick, so. It might be vast, like you say. It might be vastly different to what we've just put out there. What our draft preferred lineup is, but mm. like you say, at the end of the day, not asked. I ain't moaning. Yeah. Basically, we're, we're going to go out three, with a strong team regardless. At half three on Sunday, I ain't moaning. I'm going to be chilling regardless of what he does. You know what unless, I mean? <laughs> unless Ben Mendy and Garcia plays, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, um, guys, we'll leave it there. Let us know your comments in. The, in fact, no, bro. Score prediction. I want a score prediction off you. Oh, it's been a while since we've done score predictions at the end of the, the, the videos. And I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to go 3-0. 3-0. Right. I'm going to go 2-0. I'm going to go 2-0 to City. Um, yeah, guys, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Score predictions. What do you think of the team lineup and all that kind of stuff? And if you've liked the video, make sure you smash a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Head over to manscaped.com. And use code EXTRA for 20% off and free shipping. Thanks for them for sponsoring the video. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>